uh, Venturi effect. Okay, Venturi effect is the fluid pressure that results when incompressible fluid flows through a constricted sections of a pipe. I will show you later. Okay, I'll show you later. Let's say we have a pipe. Okay, we have a pipe, and then there's water flow from left to right. Within uh, these two part of the pipes, okay, then we have a uh, three smaller tube, three smaller tube here. You need to know that uh, water always flow from high pressure to low pressure. Okay, so if the water flow from left to right, it means that the pressures to the left is higher than the uh, the pressures to the right. So here we have higher pressure, and here we have lower pressure because. Waters always flow from high pressure to low pressure. So that's the first thing that you need to know. Now, if the water pressure is high, from high pressure to low pressure, okay, the pressure would decrease, uh, decrease due to the uh, frictions, frictions of the wall of the tube. Right? So the pressure decrease. If the pressure is high, it will push the water also to a higher level in this three smaller tube. Right? Because uh, the pressure is high, it will push the water up up to this level and uh, at B the pressure is lower okay due to the frictions uh, the pressure is lower and then the water level is lower and then uh, here uh, the, the the pressure is the lowest and therefore lowest among these three okay here can be even lower uh, but lowest among this ABC yeah? so the pressure decrease again eh? okay so this is the lowest pressure highest pressure lowest pressure this is without Venturi effect, eh? no Venturi effect, without Venturi effects. So that's the pressure in a pipe or a pressure in a tube eh? for this one. Okay. Now, how about if uh, we make the B smaller at the center here, we make the B smaller. Now, if we make the pipe here with, with a smaller diameter, Okay, with a smaller diameters, then the water here will flow faster. This is a constricted area. This is a constricted area. We have smaller diameter. So if the diameter is smaller, then the water will uh, flow faster. And if the water flow faster, the pressure will decrease. According to Bernoulli's principle, right? According to Bernoulli's principle, uh, if the water flow faster then the pressure will decrease uh, so here the pressure is high and here the pressure is low because the water flow from higher pressure to lower pressure but at this constricted area the water flow very fast and this make the pressure the lowest okay so we have a lowest pressure instead of uh, having water level here so we have the water level here so the water level shows the pr uh, the pressure. Okay, higher pressure it will push the water to a higher level, and uh, if the pressure is the lowest, then the water level is also the lowest. Uh, so that's Venturi effect. Eh? Okay, we have a constricted area to make the water flow faster and hence reduce the pressure. Okay, so this question they ask explain why the water level at B is the lowest. Why the water level at B is the lowest? The pressure at B is the lowest because the liquid flow the fastest as at B because this is a constricted area has a small uh, diameter so it make the liquid flow faster and according to Bernoulli's principle if the liquid flow faster then the water uh, the pressure will be lower the liquid flow fastest at B therefore the water level is the lowest at B.